next one hour, I will be taking you through a lot of what has happened uh, on the ground, a lot as it um, transition him. Some family make of everything that has transpired. And so I will bring you little bits and tidbits on the ground. We have our man Yao Ejemita over there. So we'll be heading to him um, a little later on. Uh, but Sam Ziga is in the studio with me. Sam uh, is a former Colts footballer, former media um, officer for Inter Allies Football Club. He's worked with the Accra House of Folk media team as well. He's publicist for Thomas Party and a sports journalist. Sam, it's good to have you on the show. Um, you you were on the ground, I mean, even before you came into the studio. What is it like over there so far? A very good afternoon to your viewers. Uh, the, um, that's not what we all expected. Uh, that's not what we signed up for. Mm -hmm. um, nobody would want to attend uh, a one-week celebration of a friend, yeah. a colleague, yeah. or even a loved one. Uh, what happened, or what is still happening at the Adrengano School Park right now, is love in its, you know, biggest mm. uh, realm. Uh, a lot of people from all walks of life stripping to the venue yeah. to show their love to a former son of the soil. I mean, uh, someone who has really yeah. touched the lives of a lot of people. Uh, some of the stories, when you listen to them, you know, you'll be amazed that's how aggressive yeah. you know uh, he 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 approached certain you know philanthropic works of his yeah. and you know it's, it's really a sad thing um clouded by a lot of former footballers mm. who's who's on the ground currently i hear the cheetah fc uh, crew uh, on the ground they did a little procession for him yeah yeah, yeah they did and and, and, and also the Ghana Football, and sorry, the Ghana Football Supporters Union, the, the Supporters Union Association okay. were also, they were also he there. He was really generous with them. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. They, they, they absolutely adored him Ab as a person. Absolutely, and a lover of the Jama, you, you, you should expect yeah. that they do something small for him. So we have the, we had the Cheetah FC uh, group who came mm -hmm. to show their love, mm -hmm. the Supporters Union, a host of media men as well. Okay. And then, you know, those around his area, those that, you know, he had that personal relationship with, you know, he lives around that area, that's his vicinity. So you, you can imagine the number of people that were trooping there just to show their love for him. I mean, uh, Samoa John, Sam Johnson, Stephen Appiah. This is massive, this is massive. And there's something that, you know, tells a lot of story about how well he lived his life. The big question out there to the multitude is, would a lot of people approach your situation this way, mm. like what they, are, what they are showing mm. at you today? That's a big question to, question. to people out there. I mean, it's, it's an awakener yeah. to all of us. I don't know, but it it's, really it's quite an emotional situation, yeah. Hmm. Quite an emotional situation. And for, for those of you who are just joining us, um, you heard Sam Ziga there. My name is Benjamin Iketia. It's all about the one-week observation of the late Christian Atu. Now, Christian Atu played for the Red Bull Academy, uh, moved on, played for FC Porto, uh, signed by Chelsea, went on loan, played for Vitesse Arnhem, played for Newcastle uh, United. Um, also played for Al Raid in um, Saudi Arabia. Uh, last club that he played for um, was um, Hataya Sport. And that's where the earthquake struck after he had scored his debut goal for the club. It was a free kick after he came off the bench uh, and did some magic for his team uh, to hand them uh, the win. It was his last glorious action as far as the game of football that he so dear love uh, was concerned. Uh, so far, he's been brought down um, to Ghana. Um, there was a procession or there was a little ceremony um, at the airport when he was brought down. The book of condolence uh, is still open. A lot of dignitaries, a lot of well wishes have passed through uh, to express their condolences from um, delegation from um, Liberian President George Weah to Stephen Apia, Sule Muntari, um, Jerry Akamenko, John Pencil, Derek Boateng, uh, even 
representatives of Cheetah FC, uh, some reps of Newcastle as well. So Asafa Powell, uh, who uh, Jamaican sprint legend who uh, is in Ghana, has also been there. So it's been love pouring from all over the world for uh, Christian Achua's thing. Now, at the one-week celebration itself, um, there's a there's a mix of the cast from the political arena, from the sports arena, um, and all of that. So, yes, there you have it there. So you have um, former Black Stars head coach, Kwesia Pia. Uh, he, uh, I can see... Uh former vice president of the Ghana Football Association. There you can see in your shots there, uh, Ket uh, Simon Okreku, who is president of the Ghana Football Association, Odro Safo, George Afri is in your shot there. So um, the football fraternity is well uh, represented at the grounds for Atsu's one weekend. It's, it, it looks like a massive um, observation so far. Again, I call it, I call it an outpouring of love. Um, Prayers will be said. Um, a, a few, I mean, customary uh, things will be done in his name. So there you can see uh, Achu in his Newcastle jersey, also in his Everton jersey. Sam, let's let's just talk about, how, I mean, where you enjoyed Achu the most. I mean, you notice when I was going through his resume that he's played for quite a number of clubs, but it looks like Newcastle have taken the lead. I don't know if it's because... It's the most time so maybe he bonded a lot more better with the fan base there but where did you enjoy Christian Atu the most? Well I was in Newcastle that's where he he could finally call a home mm -hmm. uh, after making that move to Chelsea he had to really move around yeah. more like a journeyman went to Vitesse and yeah. came uh, went on loan at Bournemouth went to Everton yeah. And then finally settling with Newcastle United. Uh, that's where he spent most of his time mm -hmm. uh, as far as English football is concerned. And uh, you could see the kind of energy he transmits yeah. uh, to the Newcastle team. Yeah. Uh, you, you listen to his former manager, Rafael Benitez, speak highly about him. His teammates, John Joe Shelby and the likes, speak about the kind of person he is, not just on the field, but outside yeah. or off the pitch. He was a fine gentleman. So it looks like he really found his rhythm as a footballer at Newcastle United. I mean, this was a player that a lot of people were expecting a lot from him, yeah. right from his days at FC Porto, Rio Ave, through to Chelsea, Vitesse, and him back and forth. Then he finally settled. That's where he had most of his football uh, and injured. Mm -hmm. because if you quite remember, when he went to Everton, he didn't really settle well because yeah. of injuries. Yeah. Same thing happened at Bournemouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Eddie, Newcastle Eddie, is definitely his home. Exactly. And I mean, that's where he had his really fantastic season, yeah. especially in the championship, yeah. helping them to qualify, yeah. had a stint in the Working. Premier League yeah. and all that. So you could, you could see, up, I mean, of all the clubs that are pouring out their tributes and all that, mm -hmm. they, you, have taken they have taken things. it a bit more personal. I mean, it looks like for the football fraternity, Ben. Well, you can see in your shot there, politicians, um, former Black Stars head coach, Chrissy Apia, um, FA president, Keto Kriku, uh, also uh, making his way into the, the, the mix there. But, um, I mean, ever since the, the incident happened, like I said, it's been um, a really intense outpouring of love for, for, for Christian Atu because, look, individuals from all walks of life um, have been involved. The president of the land, Anado Danko Ekufado, says that um, their two family uh, should consult his office in picking a date uh, that uh, will allow him to, I mean, attend the funeral. The date has been uh, announced. I'll be getting to that 
in a bit. Um, but Coach Christopher Nimley has joined us. Coach, um, good afternoon. Welcome to the show. Good afternoon, Ketia. Nice one to have you. Good to have you. Good to have you. Seeing uh, this young yes, man. Yes, yes, He's yes. all over the place, isn't it? The <laughs> next moment is in Ghana. Yeah. The next moment was, is in the UK. I was just, I was just outlining his resume yeah. before the show started. But it looks like the football fraternity is well represented at the one-week observation of Christian Nacho happening at the Adrian Astro Tef, uh, we just saw Alan uh, Sherman Singh, politician, uh, in the mix there. You know that government and the ministry have been working closely with his family. Uh, George Weah, the president of Liberia, has sent a delegation. Yesterday, Sam led uh, a delegation from Thomas Partey's family to also go sign the condolence book and also commiserate with the family. I mean, how have you far up, up to this point? Look, um, get to be very sincere with you. Um, it's not been easy mm. for all of us. The bottom line being is that we've lost a very, very important person. Yeah. A person who stood up for the needy. Mm. A person who will make him very, very happy. A person who unfortunate death was not expected. Mm. It's been huge. It's been a great loss. Yeah. Look, personally, I remember very well all those people closer to him every day during the search of that body. Yeah. I tried contacting everybody. One person who I know to be very close to him is Joe Debra of Happy FM. If Joe is here, he will tell you that Coach yeah. Nimley constantly on Every day I tend to speak to Joe not less than five times on the matter because he was in direct contact with his agent mm -hmm. whilst he was in Turkey trying to get the people of Turkey to find the body. There were times where I just couldn't work. Hmm. Anytime the thing struck me. Yeah. That somebody's actually trapped under yeah. rubble and somewhere. We were yeah. hoping, we were praying. I remember praying for him. Almost every time I had to pray on the daily basis, the Lord Jesus, if he's out there, mm -hmm. let us found him alive. Yeah. I got the news of Christian Achu's death on BBC. Normally when I sleep, my radio is by my side mm -hmm. and it's always on BBC. So I can't remember, it was around 1, 1 a.m., 1, 2 a.m. Yeah. When the news finally said that mm -hmm. his mortal, his body, has been found. The moment it went through me, I couldn't sleep again. In fact, I didn't sleep till daybreak. And since that day, it has never been the same. Because this guy, Charlie, was a good guy. Yeah. I have personally come into contact with him three times. Mm -hmm. Anytime I've met him twice at the Black Stars camp, and I've met him twice, once at the mall. The Accra Mall. And if he knows you and he sees you, yeah. he wouldn't wait for you to call him. Yeah. That is the level of humility the young man portrayed. Yeah. I remember when I met him at the mall in Ketia. In fact, I didn't even see him. Mm -hmm. He saw me. And he, he called me, Coach Chris, when I turned. I said, whoa. Yeah. And you know that I was one of those people who had serious issues with his final bodily. Player, all the time. yes, I loved him so much as a player because his final ball wasn't what I expect with the Stalin issue. So that day on the more, he said, "Coach, can you advise me on how to get that right?" That is the level of humility of the player. We live in this country. If you critique some of these players. Yeah. Especially who think they've made it to the top of the Who think they've made it? They want to ask you, come on, what, what do you think you are? A criticism. Mine was, he needed to work on the thing yeah. to make him a complete player. Mm. So he said, coach, what do you think I can do to get it better? Yeah. And I was like, when he's chasing the ball, when the ball is put into space, mm -hmm. I love his acceleration yeah. to be the first to get to the ball. But when he takes control, 
he tends to use the same speed in controlling and moving with the ball at the same time. That, in my view, tend to unbalance him. So if he could get to the ball first with every speed of pick the pass did I'm saying it publicly yeah. he dipped his hand into his pocket and he gave me 200 euros ah, I've never said this anywhere but today I've got the opportunity to show my respect to him he said coach thank you so much but this is something that even Rafael Benitez had spoken to him about I don't speak to Benitez. Mm -hmm. I've never spoken. He's not my friend. Mm -hmm. But because I was so frank, yeah. he gave me 200 euros. He gave him his number. Typical of me. Since that day, I never called him again. Yeah. I was of the view that I would not call him. But anytime I got the opportunity to, the Black Stars were to come down, I were to go and meet him, I would get closer to him and speak with him. He was a good person. Mm -hmm. And get you out. You see the level of people yeah. gone there for him. to show their respect to him. To the extent that on behalf of the people of this country, yeah. the government of the day actually he said he requested. They announced the date that will allow him to attend. And, 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 and talking about that, I think that the announcement has been done. Um, by the family. So let's let's get that particular one um, in here right now. Let's talk about the announcement of um, when the funeral uh, will happen. So um, it's been announced at this one week observation uh, that March, um, I believe 17, is when uh, his funeral will happen. And it's supposed to be a state-assisted funeral. A state-assisted funeral. So if we have that inside there, we can play that for you right now. On behalf of Abushapeni and the family of the late Christian Achu Trasam, ladies and gentlemen, the funeral will be held at the forecourt of the state house. The forecourt of the state house on the 17th of March 2023. On the 17th of March. 2023 at the forecourt of the state house the funeral rite of the late christian atu chasam will be held any gm1 let's please take note of this on the 17th of march this year the family on behalf of the abishapeni telling everybody that on the 17th of march the late Christian So you had the announcement of Christian Atu's uh, funeral. It will be happening on the 17th. Um, Coach, um, it looks like after a lot of deliberations, a lot of liaison between all the stakeholders involved, a date has been found that will be favorable to at least the parties that are involved. Yeah, I think um, as we mourn him, yeah. it's something that is good. Because um, if you look at the manner in which he passed on, you don't want to drag this thing yeah. for, for so long. Yeah. You want to 
quickly get it sorted yeah. so that we move on as a country, so that his family will move on mm -hmm. because there are kids to be taken care of. Yeah. So I'm very happy that a date has been set aside. I think it should be exactly two weeks from today. Two weeks from now. Yeah. Two weeks from now. Yeah. It should be sorted out. We'll all be there yeah. to, to yeah. is a state more or less state yeah. funeral sort of thing, yeah. burial, and we'll be there to, to support the family. And, and, and for me, I am so, so glad that the government, on behalf of the people of this yeah. country, yeah. is showing respect <coughs> and honor yeah. to a true server yeah. of the country. So Christian Atu, um, being given all the respect that he deserves, the acknowledgement that he deserves, With the team, Yao Ejiminta is on the ground at the Adringano Astrotev. Yao has been there since the ceremony uh, started. Yao, if you can hear me, um, what has it been like so far today? I mean, since you arrived, talk us through the arrival process, the the ambience over there on the ground. Well, good afternoon, Ben. Um, initially, um, the ambience Thank you over here at the Adringano uh, Astrotev um, to mark the one week. You had um, the supporters group also um, chanting. You also had um, the Bobobo and the Kete um, dance groups also doing their thing. But the, the, you could tell that the ambience was quite solemn. Um, the sports minister, Mustafa Yusuf, yes, was here. Um, Dr. Lawrence Tete was here. Um, GFA vice president, um, former vice president, George Afriye was here. Former GFA president, Kwesi Nyante, she was here. Um, GFA president, Keto Kweku was here. General secretary, uh, Prosper Harrison Aldo was here. Um, PRO, um, Henry Asante Chum was here. And they were quite, um, they were quite, uh, solemn, if I can put it that way. And it was, uh, it was the same with the ambience. But but um, things ratcheted up a little bit um, once the immediate past um, teammates, Blasters teammates of um, Christian Achu um, came in, uh, by including the likes of um, Asamajan, uh, Rabiu Mohammed, um, John Mensa. Um, I saw um, Derek Watson. I see um, also um, Yao Preko in there. I see Bafojan. Um, yes, uh, I see John Painter. Um, Emmanuel Ajumambedu was there. So, yeah, once they appeared, once they appeared, um, things became a little bit chaotic and it was quite um, um, difficult to, to get through to, to, to the other end. And that's how come um, we had a lot of um, difficulties um, getting through to our audience. And, but now things have toned down a little bit. Um, the players are seated at the high table um, with, um, the, uh, with the Adan Traditional Council, high prominent um, delegation from the Adan Traditional Council. And so, um, let, let me take you around um, the Adrengano um, Atrotef um, for for you to um, get a sense of what is going on here at this point in time. Yes, um, as you can hear, uh, Professor Chumesi, he, he he has been he has been around for a while. He made a donation. Um, the family of Emmanuel Boateng. Um, a real average striker, they made a donation. David Addy made a donation. And the, the contingent um, representing um, Thomas Pate, they were also present. They, they made um, some donations to the family. So let's move over to the, 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 the high stage or uh, the big stage where the prominent personalities are all seated. You have um, uh, quite a significant um, security presence out here. And yes, you see members of the uh, Adnan Traditional Council. Yes, um, moving over to the other side. Yes, you, you see the uh, former Black Stars players. Um, Asamwajan in there, right next to him is, is John Painter. Um, you have. And um, you have a lot of. Um, uh, players, uh, ex Black Stars players out here. Um, I see Derek Watson in there, um, the PFAG um, president uh, also in there. Um, right in the corner, uh, I see um, former Black Stars player Sam Johnson, um, Sule Muntari, um, Richard Kinson. Richard Kinson is all over here. And so they are having a chat and they are. They are uh, observing the, the one week celebration of their, of their um, late teammates and friend. And yes, right behind Sule Muntari and Richard Kinson, you have God, uh, God, Godwin Atram. Um, you have um, the likes of um, Yao Prekon, who recently served uh, as the Accra Great Olympics uh, head coach. Right behind him, you, you can see Isaac Wasa, Jerry Akamen Kong, and Haminu Draman.
They are mourning um, the loss of their friend, their teammate, Christian Achu. And yes, Derek Barton is also in here. Um, Sam Johnson is also in there. Uh, quick one. Um, yeah, quick one. If we can get yeah, um, Sam Johnson. Right now, I have Sam Johnson um, with me, um, ex Black Stars player. Um, legend, um, you are here to show support um, to the late um, Christian Achu. As a, as a human being and as a player and his, uh, his legacy. Um, how would you describe him, knowing him um, before his, his passing? How would you describe him as a person? And uh, what do you take from um, the legacy that uh, he has left behind? For the one week. That shows how important he is for everybody. So... We have not much to say. All that we have to say is uh, God should give him a peaceful rest. Okay, um, I can clearly see so, uh, Suley Muntari shedding some tears in there. He clearly does not want to talk to us. He's not in the mood to talk. Um, he's mourning. He's really in, in a lot of grief. Um, yes, I can see Suley Muntari shedding a lot of tears. Um, yes, Stephen Apia is also here. We have quite a, a strong contingent um, from the, the Black Stars. And um, yes, um, Sami, Sami Osekofo is also in here. And so, um, yes, it, it is quite a heavy delegation from the ex-Black Stars uh, fraternity. And um, we, 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 we have to commend them for, um, the, for them showing up and paying their last respect to the late um, Christian Achu uh, Trust Sam. And now let's move over to um, the stage and get a word from um, the captain himself, Steve Napier. Going to my room, and let's talk. And I told him that we have three players, players who are going to make a difference that afternoon. And I said he was part of the three players. And that day, he made a show in Congo Brazzaville. So, I mean, he was a respectful, a respectful guy, very humble. Uh, very disciplined. Actually, he's a type of guy who, even if, if he has a problem, he won't even show anybody that he has that problem. So, these are the things that I can say about him. Okay, thank you. Okay, Capitan. Capito, Capitan. Okay, so yes, um, that was the word um, from um, former Black Stars captain and uh, um, Stephen Apia. Um, you heard him um, share a few words. Um, with us uh, on the on the late um, Christian Achu Chasam. Now let's move. On. Um, you are here, and um, uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. So yes, um, Aminu Dramani of um, 2006 um, World Cup Black Stars fame. Um, he prefers to um, talk to us in private, and we'll, def we'll definitely get a word from him um, to keep his thoughts um, in privately. And so yes, you have a, a, a strong, a strong contingent from the from the 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 Black Stars team of old um, for at least for the past uh, 10 years and Christian Achu was part of um, that historic run um, of um, Black Stars um, campaigns. Uh, we had the Black Stars move over to the uh, AFCON 2015 final. You had them consistently feature in the semi-finals of the, of the Africa Cup of Nations. That is the AFCON. And um, yes, Christian Achu Strassam, he played Um, have come to show him some love. Yes, I see John Mason, who was part, who was part of um, some of those Afcon teams um, at the time. Christian Achu broke into the Black Stars under Kwesi Apia, yes, former Black Stars head coach, um, back in 2012. He was the man who gave him his debut. And Kwesi Apia was was um, here at the Adriano Astroturf um, earlier on in the day, and he had to leave um, right after um, the sports minister and the GFA uh, made way. Um, from the Adjogano School Park, yes, and uh, yes, I see, 
I see um, Prince Tego in here. I see Prince Tego in here. I see um, Isaac Bossa in here. Um, former uh, Asante Kosoko player, um, former TSG Hoffenheim player, who featured several times for the Black Stars and competed in multiple um, Afcon campaigns. And so, yes. that um, I didn't have the time to play with him because I think uh, I left the team before he came and I uh, think oh, okay. we all I mean came out from Medina I mean, I've also seen the kind of good thing he has been doing and what people have been talking about about what he has been doing so it's like um, it's a very sad moment but uh, we, we ask God to protect the family to be very strong so that at least I mean um they can overcome it because it's not an easy something, you know. Um, uh, uh, you saw him play several. You seen um, Christian Achu play? Yeah, I think it was one of the qualification in uh, Kumasi Sports Stadium, which he scored. And um, I mean, with his quality, I mean, everybody knew about his quality. So I mean, and anybody that do good things without letting the public know. When sad things like this happen, that's when you know the kind of person he is. So it's not always about people showing up and doing a whole lot of things. It's a lesson for most of the youth that are coming that anything that you do for it. Um, for speaking um, to us, yes, so um, we've had a, a, a quite a number of um, players um, from old Black Stars teams um, come up and show some love to uh, um, Christian Achu. Uh, yes, I see the GFA um, head of communications, Henry Asantichum. Yes, um, the GFA president has um, returned. I understand um, he had to go and also um, be present at the, the funeral of the late Alaji Yemen Nimjaula. So he also had to attend to um, those matters. So, yes, it, is, it has been quite a hectic day for. Um, of uh, stakeholders in football, not just um, the, the immediate family of, of Christian Achu and not just uh, the, the, the members of the GFA, but for, for, for fans and for, for the media world. Um, yes, it has been quite a hectic day. And yes, the, the official date is out. Um, 17th March is when um, the, the final funeral rite of the late Christian Achu will be observed. And yes, we, we will surely be there to give you live coverage of that event and it, it, the heavy um, presence um, of, of the, the players it, 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 you can tell that it shows the kind of um, human being Christian Achu was because if, if he wasn't loved by people, if he wasn't loved by people I doubt um, a lot of people will show, will show up for history now uh, Mr. Emmanuel uh, is, is here, um, Senior uh, just a quick word He was a blessing for the nation. Uh, we all saw what he did for the nation. Uh, and the kind of games he has really helped us in 2015, especially the African Cup of Nations, that we came second. He was very instrumental in that African Cup of Nations. And even what is going on here right now has to show us that he was a great personality for the country. We have lost a great hero. Um, he was involved in a lot of those, those projects. Anytime soon. It's something I think uh, the PFAG, we will sit down and speak about it. Because we have the, the president and the secretary. Uh, we will have meetings and see what we can do. But right now, we need to help the family to console them and to have a uh, befitting uh, funeral for our late brother. Aside the befitting uh, funeral, um, what do you think um, the, the nation can do, or what do you think his friends like you can do as a legacy to represent um, Christian Achu's legacy? Some have called for a monument to be built, um, either in uh, Senya 
where he was built, it was where he was building the school, or even in the Adnan traditional area. Um, what do you think will represent a proper legacy or proper sending of for Christian Anchu? Well, first, I think the government has taken over the funeral, uh, which will be on the 17th at the state. That is the uh, the footballers too. We are we are having meeting maybe this week to see what we can do for our late brother and. You can't just do it alone. You need to collaborate with the family uh, to tell us what we need to do and where we need to do the certain type of things. So, right now we are just celebrating his one week. Uh, from this week going, if anything comes on board, we will let the media know. Just a quick one. Um, so we are celebrating the legacy and the life of Christian, the late Christian Atu. Um Which goal his, did he score that, that stands out for you? And um, which tournament would you describe as his best game, or the game that you describe as the, his best outing for the Black Stars? I think all the chances we have, we have gotten in the national team, we have delivered. Uh, from 2013 or 2014, if I'm not mistaken, when he have a chance to join us in the national team, we could see that his impact in the games, especially 2015, the African Cup of Nations. He, is, he, he was very instrumental throughout our, 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 our games. Where we were able to 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 GFA president interacting with um, some of the old players and um, some friends and family members of um, the late Christian Achu. And yes, um, it, is, it is quite um, chaotic here. So um, yes, it, it's, been, it's been good so far. Um, quite a, a high turnout um, from friends and family of um, the late Christian Achu. Um, so yes, um, Ben, it has been a well attended event. It has been a well attended event right here at the Ajogano Astrotef um, at East Legon. And um, yes, um, we, we, we're looking forward to uh, March 17 to, to, to have and to observe the, the final funeral rites of the late Christian Achu. Over to you. Yeah, I'll just. Mate, were there any um, formalities that were performed, I mean, during the course of the day that you could probably bring to our attention in terms of um, such activities, donations, speeches? and whatnot. Is there anything significant that happened during the course of the of the observation? Oh uh, well you had um a cadet call cadet call um from um Christian Achu's Alma Mata that um TI TI Amas um from Putin um come and, and present um a flag to the family mm -hmm. of the late Christian Achu you also had um, the Adnan Traditional Council mm -hmm. um, pull off some um, traditional um, uh, rights, and so and you also had some some members from the Kete groups and um, the the Bobobo group also perform. And um, speaking of donations, uh, some wanted to keep their donations um, quite private, but others made it public. So, for instance. The Director General of the National Sports Authority, that's uh, Professor Chumesi, he, he donated uh, a thousand Ghana cities um, to the family of the late Christian Achu. Um, David Adi, former uh, uh, black satellite and black starless player, he, uh, he donated $200 um, to, to the family. Um, the family of Imano Boateng, Imano Boateng, a uh, real Ave striker, um, they were present, his father was present, and he, he donated. Or a continuing representing Thomas Pate um, also made a donation to um, the family of the late Christian Achu. So, yes, um, there were some formalities that were observed, uh, as it, it, it usually happens um, in, the, in the Ghanaian setting, a uh, funeral setting. And there was nothing um, out, of the, out of the blue um, that happened uh, with regards to um, the, observing the, the traditional um, funeral rites. Yes, and so 
uh, we've taken we've taken you from one side of the field to the other side. So on one side you have the former Blasters players, and and on the other side you have the the the, the family, the family of um, the Lake Christian Achucha Sam, um, heavily represented here, and you have members from um, the, the Adan Traditional Council also um, being represented here. So yes, every. Uh, it has been quite a huge turnout, and yes, you have some fans of the late Christian Archie also on the other side, and some some football fans also on the other side of the pitch. So it has been quite a well attended event, a very good event, quite well planned, quite well planned. I spoke to the the, the man who who. In the limelight, um, that, that's the founder and the owner of Cheetah FC, and he said yes, um, it has been quite uh, well planned. But he believes that um, uh, there, there are a few things that they can do to improve uh, security and to improve coordination when um, the the funeral um, comes around. That is on my 17 at the forecourt of the state house. And yes, I spoke with Nana Odo Safo, executive um, committee member of the Blasters and the uh, GFA, and he alluded to the fact that the, the, the date was picked yes, to, to, in, uh, um, to, to ensure that the, the president of Ghana would be It is very likely that we are going to have the president of Ghana Yes, from, from, from the Ajegano Astro Tef, um, this is what is happening. And uh, yes, it has been a quite um, well organized event. Um, a lot of people have, mm, have turned mm. up and showed love to the late um, Christian Achu. So, okay. um, Ben, um, over to you. Well, Yao, thank you very much for all the updates you brought us there. So, you um, saw and heard our man Yao Ejay Minta on the ground there. He uh, just took us through everything that's transpired so far. Uh, let me come back to you, Sam. Uh, you were there earlier, like I said. So football fraternity, very well uh, represented. The uh, family and then also the Adan Traditional Council also out there in their numbers. Date has been picked, the State House, and it will be on the 17th. That will be the, the funeral of the late Christian. Now, to just um, your concluding thoughts on everything that's happened so far. But I think... Um Ajima Medu made, I mean, a statement that I just wanted to bring you back. So we talked about how the footballers would have meetings to decide on what to do to represent the legacy of, of Christian Atu. I mean, what did you make of that? I think that was a perfect answer, you know. Um, believe it or not, believe it or not, on and off the pitch. or something in his name and it's it's really in the right direction that the football people or the players would meet and you know put their heads together and then try to organize something that is worth you know uh, the life Achu has lived uh, I think from the PFAG front to you know the current players front the leadership of the senior national team the black stars and throughout, I mean, the football fraternity, mm -hmm. I think, well, I believe that something is going to come out of it, something really substantive and huge, something that would mm -hmm. see one day and say, this is the legacy of Christian Achu. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, but this is someone who has started a lot of lives. Yeah. Uh, people like, some people I know personally, some I don't really have that relationship with. Yeah. And, and from the side of Thomas Party, who I represent, mm -hmm. um, I might say, I choose a very good friend of his. Mm -hmm. You might not see it on camera, yeah. but uh, they have that kind of relationship because of the guard Dangbe. You know, Krobo mm -hmm. and guard Dangbe are quite similar uh, in the share a lot of similar things in common. And uh, to lean and all that, because he had, had lived in England for quite a long time. Yeah. So. He was someone who was really instrumental, you know, yeah. to Thomas' survival in, in his early years in England. So this is really a big, big blow to, to him. Mm -hmm. And as you can imagine, that kind of uh, feeling as a player, yeah. having to share the same pitch with someone and the next day, 
uh, he's no longer yeah. available knowing the fact that you can pick up a phone and call him at any time and then now you pick up the phone yeah so in the wake of all the these phone. things uh, the disaster the uncertainty whether he was found or not i mean we all had to go through a lot yeah. because one way or the other like coach mentioned you pick up a phone to call someone closer to him whether they have heard of him heard from him or something like that yeah. and the the results remain same it was really really a big one so i think that uh, kudos to the Organize something for our uh, some a situation that I, I, nobody I think, would want to be yeah. in. And I, I think that um, look for, I mean, it's unfortunate that people have to die for them to. But I think Atu got a good deal of his flowers while he was alive, but. Sure. in his process so far, and right, from, with the farm, right from bringing down the, the body to Ghana, uh, the one week observation. And this is a good indicator that indeed he will be given a defeated burial. I think Absolutely. it sends a strong message out there, not just to the Black Stars players, but to anybody who represents Ghana on the national level that, hey, we might not put you on a certain pedestal when you are alive because, I mean, it's hard to do certain things where right? everybody's living their life. Absolutely. But um, when there's the need to recognize what you have done, when there's the need to recognize your legacy, we will be there for you. So I, I think the state uh, should be commended on how everything has unfolded so far. Coach, sure. let me ask you about how best you think Atu's legacy can be represented. Um, I mean, now that uh, we have observed as one week. Um, the burial date has also been announced. Get here. Wow, I'm struggling to be honest with you. Um, uh, it's become very, very emotional. It's looking at the Black Stars players in particular, Suleiman Tari. Tari is really uh, not controllable. controllable. He's gotten to me, to be honest with yeah. you. And uh, when, you sp when you spoke about what we can do to remember him, that is the legacy we're talking about. I think like Ajima Bedu rightly said, and if I'm to add my voice to it, I'm going to um, entreat the PFA to ensure that every project that the young man we've heard about schools here and there, yeah. we've heard about trying to um, free prisoners and free prisoners and all those things. Yeah. That, those are the things he stood for. So go build that school. Go complete that school. Yeah. Name it after him. It's a legacy project. Dude, if, you, if there's any way you can help complete or as PFA mm -hmm. ensure that people who are wrongfully in prison, people who are in prison for stealing or for innocent people, yeah. 100 Ghana CD, 1,000 Ghana CD, you know, if you can get in, because some of these people have been sentenced on grounds that if they could pay the money, they will be out of there. Absolutely. So go settle these things and let, because that is what his Deep soul deep. will rejoice in. And for me, look, um, to the FA, to the Ghana Football Association, an unexpected death of Christian Achu to establish some form of fun for servants, football servants of this country. As we speak, the coach to have won Ghana, the under 20 World Cup, Bobo is not that well. I've been told that he's got problems with his sight. Mm. We've seen people go donate some money to him. The question is, if you want to help that young man, take him out of this country for proper surgery. The government, the ministry, the FA, I believe they should be. The PFA as well. They should I mean, be. He's not a professional football. Exactly, but, but, yeah, but he worked still, for Ghana, yeah. he worked for the FA. They should be leading that charge. How much would it take a legend? We lived in this country where sometimes you know, it took Zamalek. Like, yeah, it took Zamalek. Like, you remember? I've forgotten the former Kotoko national player. Mm -hmm. I don't know who. I've forgotten his name. It took yeah, Zamalek like to yeah, flow. He once played for Zamalek. Yeah. Exactly. They came, saw their, they saw him as their own, yeah. and they flew him.
to this out of this country for a proper I don't know what it was a surgery or kidney something transfer something. He came back, he lived his life before he eventually awesome. passed on. We will all pass on. We will all go. But if there's anything that can be done whilst the person is alive yeah. to prolong and to get the person to enjoy life a bit more, you have to. That nobody could prevent. He just happened to be in the mix yeah. of that, and we've lost our brother. But for those who are sick, the salas, Bobo Tete and Co., please, let's, don't, do, right by let's do the right thing. Don't go and be giving him donations. Take him out and get him cured so that he'll come and become the person we all know him to be. Well, let's, let's get to some um, dignitaries who have been speaking. So the Minister of Youth and Sports, Mustafa Youssef, uh, was at the one-week observation. He shared his sentiments on um, the Christian Atru passing. Also, um, MPP presidential uh, flag bearer aspirant Alan kujo Chermating also was uh, present at the uh, Mawik observation of Christian Atru. Memorize him. Uh, memorize him. Uh, we all know that he showed uh, and that's a very beautiful commitment cultural display to the, the cause of our country. Heritage. And in doing so, he also displayed humility, very own discipline, and he was kind hearted. And as a national celebrity, uh, this is the kind of disposition and comportment that I hope that all those who are privileged and honored enough to be in such uh, positions uh, to, to learn from Christian Achu's uh, life. Uh, you can see the outpouring of about all over the world uh, following his demise. This is a real testament uh, to the kind of person that uh, he was. And uh, we would also like uh, to sympathize with his family, his wife, the children, and the, and the larger extended family. The President of the Republic instructed the Ambassador, the Ambassador to Turkey to liaise with the authority, the Turkish authority, to find our brother alive. He issued a statement, a public statement, calling on all Ghanaians to pray for him. But unfortunately, we could not find our brother alive. But notwithstanding that, the president and the government ensured that we brought the body back home and we gave a, a very beautiful reception by the vice president receiving the body of the one week in, to assist the, the family. And the funeral itself is going to be a state funeral. Government is going to take over every cost because of the contribution of Christian Achu to the development of Ghana football. And also at the same time, the way and manner Christian Achu passed on is something that is devastating to everyone. And that is the only time we should all come together as a country to give our brother, our son, a befitting funeral. So we wish the football family and the, the immediate uh, Achu family, our condolences on behalf of the government and the president of the, the republic. So you had the Youth and Sports Minister Mustafa Yusuf and before him MPP flag bearer aspirant Alan Kojo Chermatin speaking there. We have a bio prepared on Christian Achu uh, from right where he started from, from where uh, he met his end. So we'll show you a little bit of it, and then uh, a little later we'll give you a full picture of that bio a little later on in the day. So let's let's get... ...breaded, broke on February 18. Ghana's Black Stars player is no more. Just as the Hermiton gives way to the heavy clouds to shed tears of rain. The initial disbelief that greeted Achu's passing has withered away with reality. From the high and mighty to the most noble of men who watched him play, heard about his philanthropic deeds, or took in the gut-wrenching ordeal of the 12-day wait on news of his whereabouts, tributes have poured in.
the earthquake in Turkey and Syria with a moment's numbers. So tributes pouring in all over the world for Christian Atu. That's a little bit of a, a teaser to the bio that will come a little later on in the day. My name is Benjamin Inketia. It's been um, great actually bringing you this one week observation of the late Christian Atu. Hopefully we keep his legacy alive. Uh, we do right by him. Thank you very much. Everything came to a standstill. Everything goes quiet. The pandemic started. And it gave us enough time to rethink the entire business model. Welcome to Class Act on City TV, your virtual classroom where you get to learn on various We are going to apply linear equations that we have learned earlier on to situations of life. And by the end of our lesson today, I expect that you'll be able to write out simple mathematical relations for statements. You should be able to form your own stories for simple mathematical equations or relations. And you should be able to solve and find solutions to study problems in one variable. My name is Joseph Abusa, your facilitator for today. Stay tuned in. We'll take a short commercial break and we shall be right back to continue our objectives for today. Welcome back. In our previous lessons on linear equations, we solved linear equations, we found solution sets, and we want to take some few examples just to remind ourselves of what we have learned earlier on. 
And we have the first example here where we have to find the truth set for 3 into brackets 2x minus 1 bracket closes minus 3 into brackets x minus 2. All that is equal to 11. Can we solve that and find the truth set quickly? Yes. That expansion of the first bracket will give us 6x. And so we have 6x minus 3. And the 3 expanding the other bracket will also give us minus 3x plus 6. All this is 11. If you do your groupings properly, we'll have our 6x minus 3x minus 3 plus 6. All that will be equal to 11. And so we shall have 3x here. And that will be equal to 11 plus 3 minus 6. And so if you do the arithmetic there properly, 11 plus 3 will give us 14 minus 6 would give us 8.